We came home last night to our yard being flooded. And as you can see, he's digging way down there. I mean, that water was up out here and it was just pouring. Let me show you right here. Into this, literally pouring into that. So we're gonna have one nice water bill. Anyway, he thinks it's a broken line to the house, right? So he's going to try to fix it, but as of now, <clears throat> excuse me, we have no water to the house. Oh, <laughs> tell you how bad it was flowing. Let me take you around here. Our buckets, he's, uh, we got a septic tank, or a septic tank, sorry, we got a pump, a sump pump. So he's filling up the buckets to water our garden. But as I come out here, You'll see how bad it was flooding. This grate here had rushing water in it also. So we're looking at a major, major water bill. Anyway, water is off to the house. Get in. This is how deep this hole is. Give you an example how deep it is. Look at this was a little hole when he did the first fix. Now we've got a major one. Poor guy's been digging his butt off. You think you're down low enough that you can get to it? Yeah. That's cool. Well, guys, say a prayer. We get it fixed. Okay, here's my garden. There are my fruit trees. I have two apple, a peach, and a plum. And as you can see, we got them watered. And then my garden spot. Everything is watered. I got a lot of uh, pumpkin and squash and that. And then my raised beds. They're all watered. As you can see. At least I hope you can see on the camera. And this is how it was done. Ten of these buckets full of water. Which tells you how much water was in that hole. Because he dug it out earlier in the uh, week. Because it had a leak. And he fixed that leak. Well, now we got a major leak. So, it's not in the same spot. So, we know it's not his work. But, he was able to pump out with our uh, su small sup pump. Twelve of these. I only used nine of them. And these are five gallon buckets. That's how much water we saved that didn't go everywhere. Anyway, I would just dump this in here. And I walked around and poured it over my plants. Which these have already been watered, but just sake oops, sorry, the sake of showing you guys how I did it. Anyway, we did this over all the plants. I'm just leaving this out here because I'll be watering again. And we were able to save all my plants by hand watering. So I was happy about that. But that's a lot of work. And then inside, we went to Walmart after you turned the water off to the house. And got three, three gallon containers of water. And we already had containers of water stored downstairs. So the water that's stored downstairs we're using to clean our cells and stuff. And the other water is going to be for the animals and drinking water. So that's what's going on. I got a taste of just with the water what it's like to live off grid. It is not fun when you're completely off grid. Because I had no power. Oh, you see, look at my yard as I turn the fan. Put, shut the vents. I have no uh, power out here to pump the water. And that's a long way to pump. Anyway, all my plants up here were watered. You can see more buckets. But plants are doing good. <coughs> Sorry, plants are doing good. And we have drinking water. And we have water to clean ourselves. I heated water up on the stove. 
kind of fit in the bathtub and did an old-fashioned bath this morning. <coughs> the uh, plants out here in the ground should be all right for at least for today. Hopefully he gets it fixed because I have flowers and stuff. And if he doesn't, then I'll be, well, I don't want to take that lock off. I'll be watering those by hand too. Anyway, that's what's going on in our neck of the woods. I hope you guys have a great weekend. And I pray nothing happens to you guys. No disasters on your part. And he's going to try to get that fixed. And we'll talk to you later on. Bye.